Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your strength and power AMRAP with weights workout. AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. So we're gonna be working in five minute intervals where we're working with dumbbells or kettlebells or both if you have them to get full body strength and cardio. Of course, I'm gonna give you lots of different options to work to your fitness level and remind you to go at your own pace. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start just by getting our bodies moving. You can march, you can jog, whatever you need to do to get the blood flowing, shake out everything. Try to let everything from the day go, from the week, whatever stress, anxiety, tension you might be holding in your body. Let's let it all go and just be present here with me right now. This is your workout. We're gonna make the most of it. Let's go ahead and roll those shoulders. So as I said in the intro, this is AMRAP. This is a fun format. AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. So what's gonna happen is we are going to have five minute circuits. Let's take those arms out nice and wide and you will have four-ish moves. Some will have more, some will have less, where the idea is that you get a certain number of reps and you get as many rounds as possible during those five minutes. Now, some will feel like you can't get very many, some will feel like you could get a lot. The idea with AMRAP, and the most important thing to remember, is that you don't wanna rush it, you don't wanna sacrifice form over speed, right? Let's take it up right here, big Y, and then hinge just like this. And you want it to be as many rounds as possible for you. So for where you are today, where you are in your fitness level. So you do not have to feel like you have to go super fast. In fact, with strength AMRAP, we wanna make sure that we're taking our time flat back down and then round it up. So your exercises are gonna be on the screen here for you. And again, you work to your level. Now, what's interesting about this AMRAP is that we're going to be adding a power move at the end. So your first two or three will be more strength-based. They'll still get your heart rate up. And then your last one will be a power. So what that might mean is that you may need an extra few seconds or a little bit longer of a rest before you start your next round. Walk it in right here, slowly round it up. Let's tap it back here, open up those hips because we all know that that power move takes a lot of energy. It ends up being more of a hit round. So you might be really out of breath. You might need to take a second to catch your breath before you go into that next strength move. So do not feel like you have to rush it, especially after that last power move. That's the reason we're only putting one power move in. Let's go ahead and take it down right here. Big reach. Let's reach it through and up. If that's not right for you, you stay upright. World's greatest stretch. And you can either switch it at the top or you can switch back into that high plank. You're here, big reach, and take it through. And reach. And then we're gonna take it to that high plank or to all fours. And you can either just hold it or a big stretch, reach. We're gonna alternate right through here. If you'd rather keep that knee down and just go from your knees, you can do that too. You can add even a little beast or a child's pose back to there. And one more right here. Go ahead and walk your feet up or walk those hands back, whatever is best for you, slowly roll it up. All right, team, so again, timed intervals, going at your own pace, being where you are today. This is your workout. You do you is what I'm gonna remind you of all day long, right? So our heart rates are gonna get up. We're gonna get a lot of that endurance and that cardio, but we're strength-based, take your time take breaks in those transitions if you need to, and know that at the end of those five minutes, you have a longer break coming. All right, team, so stretch it out right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you your first move. So we're gonna go with a heavy kettlebell. If you don't have a heavy kettlebell, that's okay. Just a heavy dumbbell or two heavy dumbbells. So here's what we got, team. We're gonna go side lunge, and we're gonna alternate, but we're gonna keep it stationary. So you're shifting your weight. You've got eight right through here. I want you to stay low. Then we got eight here on the other side. So I want you to really think about shifting your weight to the side, pressing out of it. Then we're gonna take it to our kickstand deadlift. 
So you're here, it's a hinge. You're driving it up and here. If you only have a light kettlebell and you wanna take that to two dumbbells, you can do that as well. We got right side for eight, left side for eight. And then our power comes in. We've got a clean into a squat. So little hinge, clean, squat. Back here, drop it down. Clean, squat, all right? If that's not right for you, you can just get eight squats, either holding the kettlebell high or low. Are we ready? Go ahead and grab that weight. You can switch weights in between if you need to. Stationary side lunge, here we go. Now five minutes on the clock. We have a lot of right side, left side on this, so it may not go as quickly as you expect it. Sometimes with these AMRAPs, we get through the whole thing within a minute. That's probably not gonna happen. Oh, and if you don't want to count, you just switch with eye switch. Right here, other side, all right? I know not everybody likes to count their reps. You can always just hang with me, and when you see me switch to the next thing, go ahead and switch it. Shift that weight to the side, side lunge. I try not to count because I know you may be on your own count, but I'll tell you when I'm shifting. And breathe. So take it right here, get set up for that kickstand. We're here, it's a hinge, drive the hips to the back. Up, here we go. To the back, soft bend in that back knee, well in both knees. Front leg is doing more of the weight work. As we get further on, if you wanna take it to single leg, you can. And again, a two dumbbells is better for you. One minute down. Just switch your legs right where you are. Here we go. If you're with me. Kickstand deadlift for eight. Remember that back leg is exactly like it sounds. It's a kickstand. Soft. Drive it up. Core. Breathe. Don't rush it. Full range of motion. All right, team, now we're into that power. So you're gonna clean it or just squat. Here we go. Clean, sit, up, breathe. Don't rush them, get all the way down in that squat. You've got eight, it's gonna drive that heart rate. Yes, team. Boom. If you got your dumbbells, you can do the same thing with one or two, one more. All right, team, see what I mean? Two minutes down, you might need that little breather, and that is okay, catch your breath. Let's go up to the top. Here we go, stationary side lunge. If you need more of a breather, take it. See if we can get through everything at least one more time. Again, there's gonna be some of these AMRAP rounds that feel like you can get through everything three or four times. Some of it might be two or three. Shift your weight, again, hips to the back, crossing that kettlebell or dumbbell, other side. We're keeping this stationary so we can really isolate and really shift. It starts to feel like too much, you can of course drop the weight or step in and out if that's a better motion for you. Breathe. Three minutes down. Get set up for your kickstand. Here we go. If you want to take it to a single leg, you can. From the floor, here we go. I often feel more out of that kickstand deadlift because I can really focus in that front leg. I don't have to worry about balance. But if you want the challenge, I know we often love this single leg deadlift. Up to you. Boom. Other side, get set. Whoo! Breathe. Drive it up. If you wanna take it single leg, you can. Soften in that front leg. Hips are square. Yes, team, one minute to go, and we got that power. Here we go. And drop. Power. If you've never done these power moves, totally fine to keep the strength version of it, which is just a squat, right? Or curl in a squat if you'd rather. Two more if you're with me. Good. All right, 
team, we got 30 seconds left on the clock. So if you wanna alternate, wherever it is you are, catch your breath. I'm gonna alternate my side lunges. So if you wanna just alternate to get them done, so that way we're not ending on one side, you can cross, breathe. Yes, you can, team. Ha, five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Yes, team, catch your breath. All right, that was our five minute round. So you can feel how that works, right? Most of us probably only got through that twice, two and a half, whatever it was. That's what we want. We don't want to rush. We want good form. Oh, and did I mention we're doing lower body than upper body than core? Then we'll put some things together. All right, team. So here's what we got. Before we move on to that next round, we're going to separate out our swings and our deadlifts. So I'm going to grab two heavy dumbbells or kettlebells. We're going to take a 40 second deadlift and then our 30 second swing. So we just did those deadlifts. So you're prepped, but take it here. We're just going to hinge and drive it up. Grab those weights. Then after that, one dumbbell or one kettlebell in the center, we'll take it to that swing. You can decide if you want to do just the deadlift, keep it, otherwise take it to the swing. Starting with our deadlift, 40 seconds, shoulders back, core engaged, hinge, here we go. Drive the hips to the back, stand up straight. Go heavy on this if you can. Again, it's a strength-based workout, but because of the way we're working through these AMRAP rounds, right? you are going to feel your heart rate stay up the whole time. I'm excited about this next upper body one. I think you're gonna like it. Give me a burn in that upper, but you can do it. And breathe. 10 seconds right here. Stand up straight. Strong in that lower body. Yes and relax. All right, set those weights aside. You can go kettlebell or dumbbell, swing or deadlift. You do you. If you want to power up with that swing, remember we're going to hinge it. We're going to power, lock it out of the top, let it drop. Core engage the entire time. 30 seconds is all we need. Hinge it. Three, two, one. Let it drop. Lock it out, let it drop, or stand up straight into that deadlift. I debated about putting this as one of your power moves in your AMRAP, but I really like keeping the swing separate because there's so much that goes involved, that is involved, that goes along with it. 10 seconds. Lots of power. Lock it out at the top. Let it drop. Full body strength, power, endurance, mobility. Three, two, one. Swing and relax. Remember, we never want to stop that swing in midair. You want to let it swing. And then I always like to hang out and get a little stretch here. Holy heart rate. I am feeling it. I don't know about you, but let's grab some water. All right, team. We're doing it again for five minutes. This time it is upper body focus. So we're going to feel that burn. I know we tried to keep that right side, left side. So less of a burn on that lower body. Although you probably still felt it. Cheers, y'all. All right, so let's take it over here. We got a five minute block. I want you to go medium dumbbells. If you have a kettlebell, you're gonna do an alternating row on this first one. Otherwise, if you only have a kettlebell, I should say. Otherwise, we're taking it here. We got a lat sweep. Your sweep looks like this, straight up and down. Little sweep, squeeze. If that doesn't feel right for you, you can take it to the row. Then we're taking it up, cross body curl. We've got eight total, so four each side. Then we're taking it overhead triceps. You may have to switch to one dumbbell for eight. And then our power, back to that clean, is a clean and a press. No squat needed, clean and press. If that clean doesn't feel right for you, you can just do a curl and a press or you can alternate one at a time. All right, you should be able to stay with some medium-ish dumbbells, but keep them close by if you need to. Let's start with that sweep, your five minutes starts now. Here we go. Sweep and down. Now I really want you to think of this as your lats, right? Relax in those shoulders. They're part of the pull, but you're squeezing with those big muscles that we work in a row right down the back. Last one if you're with me. Here we go. Cross body. Eight. Yes. This should feel like nothing compared to that, right? Whoo! 
breathe. We're gonna have some burning arms after this, and we love it. If you're with me, take one or two up over your head. You can stagger if you want. Here we go, eight. Now, as we get through this circuit, I'm gonna tell you, I might have to switch down to one. That'll be okay. I'm gonna try to do two as long as I can. Behind the head, full range of motion, not cheating it halfway. Whew. Two. If you're with me, one minute down, clean and press. Here we go. Yes. Boom. Core engage. Clean is that power, right? A little half hinge. Push press. Four more. Yes. One more. Now, when you get to the end of that power, if your hands just need a little break, go ahead and set them down, shake it out. If your heart rate needs a little break, take it. We're about a minute and a half in. We're gonna go back to that sweep, curl, tries, and power. Here we go. Take more time if you need it. Hinge it, core engage. Here we go, sweep. And again, if that sweep doesn't feel right for you, you can always take it to a row or a wide row, right? Same set of muscles, just a little different in how we execute. Sweep. Breathe. Bring it up right here. Cross all arms, right? It's kind of nice, even though our arms are gonna feel it. A little less intensity than I feel like that lower body with all the switching. Triceps overhead. What do you got, team? Here we go. Elbows in all the way down behind the head. As you get tired, I want you to think about that range of motion. Try not to go out with those elbows. Keep them pointing forward. Core engage. Stop your rib cage over your hips. We're halfway there. Here we go. Get ready for that clean. Here we go. Clean. Boom, I know. Yes, you can. Keep it going. Remember, you can always do curl, press, or if you need to, alternate one at a time. You can, let's get that power. Three minutes down. Do your hands need a break? Take it. Otherwise, we got two minutes to go. Wrap that core back to that sweep. Here we go. If you need more of a break, this is your workout. I know, especially after that power. Again, AMRAP is all about going at your own pace. So no need to rush to keep up with me or anybody else, right? You do you. We're going across our body. Feel the difference in your arms. I know. Woo! Yes! All right, can we keep it with two? Let's try. Here we go. And remember, down behind the head as we get tired. I know it's tempting to go here, but let's go here. Yes, team. Last minute to go. Can you get to that power and finish out strong? Woo. Here we go. Clean, push press, or curl and press. You. Do you, core is stabilizing. You got that power coming all the way up through that lower body. Yes, you can. You don't have to do that full jump. Just get a little power from the legs. I know. Whew. All right, team, we got 15 seconds. Wherever you are, finish it out. I'm gonna do some sweeps. Yes, you can. Last one and breathe. Oh, set them down, team. I know, I feel it too. All right, no deadlift needed this time, but how about we squeeze in a swing? Why not? We just worked hard with that upper body. Let's get that lower body working again. Remember, hinge, power up, lock it out. Glutes, hamstrings, core, back. Squeeze those armpits, but don't use those arms. If you'd rather keep just the deadlift dumbbells or kettlebells, you can. 
30 seconds is all we need. Hinge it here, team. Prep it. Three, two, power. That is what this workout is about. Strength and power. They go together. Power is just strength and speed together. Strength times speed. Let it drop. So speed coming out of it, then generating that force with our power muscles. We got five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Paddle those feet, team. I know. Oh, man. Feeling it too. Let's grab some water. All right, set everything to the side. Whew. Here we go. Cheers, y'all. How is that heart rate? I hope you're feeling it. I know that I am. All right, we worked that lower. We worked that upper. Let's get a little core. Let's go down to the mat. It's going to be easy. You know it's not going to be easy. No weights needed on this, guys. I want you to join me on the mat. Now, if you need to keep this standing, you can do a standing version of a bicycle. You can do a side oblique twist, and you can do a standing climber. Otherwise, I'm gonna give you options. Join me on the mat team. We got five minutes of core, and trust me, this is probably the one we're gonna feel the most, but we love it. Here we go. So, we're going to do a push bicycle. So I'm pushing into here. Whew, no, pushing into the other opposite side, and I got eight right here. These are pushing against each other to create the tension. Other side, out and into the bicycle. Same thing here. Then we're rolling over. We got a lift and a lower and a twist in our side plank, either on our knees or here. Eight and eight. Then our power is gonna be that climber, and I want you to think eight or 16, whatever makes more sense in your brain. One, two, three, right, or one two, right? Every two counts for one. You do you. <laughs> All right, team, join me on the mat. Core on fire. Let's get it done. In three, two, set it up here. Here we go. And if you're not standing, but you still want to do this, you can just do a regular bicycle without the push or just a little cross crunch or just extend that leg out. Breathe. I know. Burn, it's already burning. <sighs> Other side. And I know this one gets a little confusing. So again, you can always just alternate your bicycles or just do a regular bicycle or standing. Four. Get ready to get set up for that side plank. Knees or toes, whatever you need. Here we go. Up, twist it down. We got eight. That's not right for you. You can just hold or again, standing oblique twist. Breathe. And you don't have to flip right over. You can just roll to the other side. I always do so I can face you, but you can just flip it over. One minute down team. Here we go. Don't rush it. Use that core. I tried to make these different enough. We only have these three moves, but two are right and left, right? Little rotation if that's right for you. Lower and lift with the hips so we isolate obliques. All right, get ready for power. You can do that mountain climber. You can tap it in, walk it in, or you can take it standing. Here we go. Eight or 16, eight on each side. Whatever makes sense to you and how you count. Yes, team. Woo. Good core burn. Here we go. Back to the top, give yourself a second to get set. Tuck that pelvis, push, push. It's cross body push, here we go. And you can also focus on just this push. If you just wanna bring the leg in, that'll help you get that internal resistance that we love, pushing against each other. You can get the cross, get the cross, and breathe. Oh man. <laughs> Again, if you want to do just the leg and get that push, because you may feel that even more, because you don't have to worry about this part. Two minutes down, team. <sighs> yes, you can turn it over. Side plank, and again, take your time. If you need time getting into this, I want good form, so I don't want you to rush. Lower and twist, and up. <sighs> totally fine. To use the knee, maybe you're starting to feel those shoulders. Breathe. Yes, 
Yes. Other side. Get set. Holy core. Yes, team. Knee is welcome as well as hand if you need to. Three minutes down. Going into that power. Let's do it. Here we go. Eight or 16, however you have to think of it. Oh, back to the top team. You got just under two minutes. So however you need to do it, if you want to just take it to a regular bicycle, or if you want to cross it, you can. Well, let's get eight. So close to being done with this core round. I know, abs on fire, mine are too. Keep that push, leg against hand, hand against leg, if that's where you are. Burn. We're at one minute to go. Breathe. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, side plank, here we go. Whew. If you need to alternate your side planks or shorten them to four, I know some of you have told me that when you do AMRAP, you shorten to four or six. That is totally fine. You might find that you have better form that way. So close, team. 30 seconds, can we get it done? The power is actually the shortest thing in this round. Breathe. When do we usually get five minutes straight? I know, right? Of core, I mean. 15 seconds, can you get it? Eight, seven. Strong power on that climber. Keep going until we get to three, two, one. Stretch it out, oh my goodness, team. Oh my goodness, right? You know what, I know that's a lot of core. I know our heart rates are up, but let's get one more swing. You know why? Because I love doing swings after core because then we really know how we activate our core on the swing. We're already feeling it, right? So swing or deadlift. This is the last one, I promise. Let's go ahead and get these here. Whoo! All right, team. So we're gonna take it here. We got 30 seconds powered up. You're gonna feel that core locking in for you. Also get those hamstrings and glutes. And then we got one more round, team. It's gonna be a fun one. All right, here we go. Prep it, three, two, one, power, let it drop. 30 seconds of that hinge motion, whether you're doing a swing with this power or whether you're doing a deadlift, you're dropping the chest, but you're keeping your eyes out in front. You're locking out at the top. You're breathing. You're squeezing those armpits. You get our back, our lats activated, but not using those arms. 10 seconds to go, team. Hang with me. Yes, you can. Five. Four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Yes, team, breathe. Grab a quick sip, put it all to the side. I know, we're feeling it, we're getting it done. Cheers, y'all. All right, <laughs> one more round. All right, we can do this. We're putting some things together because we can, right? So heavy dumbbells, one or two. We're gonna do a lunge. Lunge, row, step it up. We got six only, six on the right. Lunge, row, six on the left. So remember it's half lunge, half hinge, okay? We got that. Then we're taking it down. We're gonna do our push up into a row. We got six only, all right? So we get push and pull upper. Then we're here, we're gonna alternate our snatch for eight, six, six, six and eight. All right, here we go. We got five minutes left team, left team. So hang with me, lunge and row, whatever lunge you want. You can also just do a tap back. Remember we're gonna hinge two in three, two, one. Here we go, lunge, row. So we get upper body, breathe, huh. yes. This is it. 
And I promise, I'm gonna tell you right now, there's no bonus move. This is a bonus circuit. So remember, you lunge it down, but then you also drop into that hinge. Other side. Whoo! Burn! Yes! Set it down. I know, it feels like a lot of rows, but you can do it six only. Just because we got that lat sweep, we really didn't get our row. And you know I love it for a nice, strong back. One minute down, yes, team. Feels like it's all power, right? Step it up and get set. If you're not doing the snatch, you can do a high pull or you can just curl and press. Get set, here we go. Here, your snatch, remember you're pulling right up close to your body. Maybe one of my most favorite power moves. This whole round feels like a bonus move, right? So remember, if you need more of a breather after this, because I know it's a lot, you get it. One more. Catch your breath, team. We're almost at those two minutes, so it's as many rounds as possible for you. If you need more time to recover, take it. If you wanna switch to just one dumbbell on that row, you can. Get low in the lunge. I really want you to focus on lower body on this. Two minutes down. Here we go. And here. So even though I'm adding the row at the bottom, and I know I have it coming in that push-up, I'm really focusing on my lower body here. Get low, drive it up. It's only six. How is that heart rate? We are building that endurance. If you're with me, switch sides. Here we go, keep it going. You keep going. Gotta make sure I didn't turn my mic off. Woo, now we're going. Keep it up. Breathe. Ha. Low in those legs. I know as we get tired, it's tempting to be a little higher. We're not gonna do it. Yes, team. Three minutes down, almost. Here we go. Can you get six push-ups with or without that row? You're doing the row every time. So we really only have six of both, right? We don't have to double the row, because we just did it, right? One more each way. Strong core, I know our core is tired, but let's get it done. Get set up for those snatches. Remember, if you're not doing the snatch, curl and press or high pull. Wrap it up, here we go. Power. Hang with me. Get the power all the way from the feet, all the way up, head to toe, your toe to head. Yes, you can. Boom. All right, team. Breathe if you need to. We are just over a minute. What do you need in this? How about we alternate our lunge and our row, and then we alternate our push-up. Let's finish it out. Let's get six total, alternate this time. Here we go. Drive it up. Woo. Six alternating whenever you get there. Yes. 30 seconds. Can you get it done? Six push-ups. Feel free to take the row out if you want. Finish it strong. Breathe. Notice I'm dropping to my knees in the push-up. That's better for my shoulder. You do you. I know we want to get them in. We got 15 seconds. So whatever you got, team, wherever you are, I want you to go to those snatches and try to get at least four. Here we go. Power and down. Whew. Can you get four in? There's our time. Hand up and relax. If you want to throw a few more in, you can. But let's shake it out, team. Oh, man. 
I know. I feel that too. All the way through. So catch your breath, team. Shake it out. We're going to keep this cool down pretty short. We're going to try to regulate our systems here. A couple quick stretches, but I promised you short workouts. So we're going to keep them short. Please get some more stretching on your own. Little hamstring stretch. You can roll through that arm. If you got the balance or grab onto something. <sighs> Remember that we want that stretching and that mobility training, not just at the end of a workout, even though that's a good time and it feels good. We want it <sighs> breathe throughout the rest of our day and our week, right? We like stretches at the end of a, war of a workout huh? Whew, because we just worked hard, our muscles are warm and it feels good, but we need it. We need that mobility training, that flexibility training in other parts. It's not just about here. So if your only stretches are at the end of your workouts, it's time to rethink that plan. Doesn't have to be much, a few minutes a day. I have lots of quick mobility and flexibility workouts for you. Check them out on the channel. Stretch it here. Thank you so much, you guys. That was tough for me. I hope it was tough for you, but in a good way, leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you. I wanna know how you felt with this. Leave me a comment, leave me a like. Don't forget to go over and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure you're joining us in the Athletic Club and check out all the links in the description below. Stretch out those muscles, shake it out. Thank your body for showing up for you today. And I'm thanking you for showing up with me today. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your strength and power AMRAP workout. Great job, everybody.